In this video, we're going to talk about how to account for a Section 351 transaction when the transferor is giving liabilities to the corporation. So if you remember, the three requirements to have a Section 351 transaction are that the transferors are giving property to the corporation in exchange solely for the corporation's stock, and then the transferors have control of the corporation immediately afterwards. So with liabilities, the question is regarding this, this first requirement here and also the second one. So basically, they're transferring something other than property, right? A liability, for example, debt that is attached to property, that's not property. So, so how do we account for that? And so we think about solely in exchange for the corporation's stock. Well, they're not just getting stock, they're in a sense getting debt relief, right? Because if you give your liabilities to the corporation, uh, then you're getting your debt relief. You don't have to pay that debt. The corporation has to pay it. So then there's the question, well, is it boot? Are the liabilities that you're giving to the corporation, are those considered boot and are they going to trigger a gain? And so generally the answer is that liabilities transferred to a corporation are, are not going to be considered boot. However, there's some exceptions that we're going to talk about. So I just want to give you a baseline example first and then we'll work through into some of the exceptions. So let's say that you own a Ferris wheel. And so the cost, the adjusted basis of the Ferris wheel is $100,000 and the fair market value is $975,000. But let's just assume also that you have $900,000 in debt. So you went off and you, you borrowed against uh, the Ferris wheel as an asset and, and you borrowed $900,000 at some point in the past. So you have this liability, right? So debt is a liability. And so now you're going to form your own corporation and it's going to be called Seven Flags Amusement Park, right? So you're going to you're going to start a corporation. You're going to incorporate. You owned the the Ferris wheel personally before. Now you're going to incorporate. And what you're going to do is you're going to give the Ferris wheel, the Ferris wheel and the debt, right? So the nine hundred thousand of debt, you're going to give that and the Ferris wheel plus ten thousand dollars cash. So those three things are going to be transferred to the corporation, right? So you owned the Ferris wheel before, you had this debt of 900,000 and you had 10 grand cash and you give them all to Seven Flags Amusement Park. And so the question is, is this transfer of debt going to trigger any kind of a gain? And we, we know it's a section 351 transaction because uh, you're transferring property, this Ferris wheel, the cash, in exchange for the corporation stock, let's let's say you're getting 100 shares, that, that, that's the entire corporation stock. So you're getting own 100% of the comp uh, company, so you'll have control. Uh, you have everything else satisfied. The question is just what to do about this debt that you're giving to the corporation and, and how do you account for that? Well, section 357C has a very interesting rule. So as I said, generally liabilities transferred to the corporation are not boot, right? And the reason you might think they're boot, you say, hey, I'm getting debt relief right here. I used to owe 900,000, now the corporation owes 900,000. So is, is that boot? Am I getting some benefit other than corporation stock? Well, section 357C of the tax code says that you w could have recognized gain if it, it, the recognized scheme would be if the amount of liabilities that you're transferring to the corporation, if they exceed, right, if that if that amount exceeds the adjusted basis of all properties that are being transferred. So we look at the adjusted basis of the properties that are being transferred and we say, okay, what's the adjusted basis? So our cost, our cost here is $100,000, right? So our cost is our adjusted basis. And then the, what's the adjusted basis? That's the Ferris wheel. What's the adjusted basis of the cash? Well, the adjusted basis of the cash is $10,000, right? So the adjusted basis of the cash is $10,000. So we add up the adjusted basis of all the properties transferred. Even if this debt is just associated with the Ferris wheel, we, it doesn't matter. We're going to add up the adjusted basis of all the properties. And so we're going to say, okay, well, that's going to be 100000 which is the adjusted basis of the Ferris wheel plus 10,000, which is the basis of the cash, right? So that means there's 110,000 is the total adjusted basis of all properties transferred. So now we want to say, well, what's the excess of the liabilities that are being transferred? Well, the debt is 900,000. So we're giving $900,000 of debt to the corporation, right? So we're going to look at 900,000 and then we want the excess. So we we'll just subtract out the 110,000, 110,000 right here that we calculated. 
and we say how much does this debt exceed the adjusted basis of the properties being transferred so if we subtract that we get 90 we get seven hundred and ninety thousand dollars seven hundred and ninety thousand dollars so what that means is that we have transferred so much debt to this corporation that it actually exceeds the adjusted basis of all the property we're transferring by seven hundred and ninety thousand dollars so we are going to have a recognized gain we are going to recognize so even though generally the liabilities are not going uh, to to trigger any kind of a gain in the situation here where we have so many liabilities they're actually more than the adjusted basis of the properties being transferred we're going to recognize a gain so we're going to be taxed on uh, seven hundred and ninety thousand dollars now let me just give you another situation let's say so here we've got nine hundred thousand dollars of debt but let's just pretend that the debt instead of nine hundred thousand let's say that the debt that we are transferring was forty thousand dollars right let's just say that it was forty thousand dollars then what we'd be comparing because again we go back to the excess of liabilities transferred to the corporation over the adjusted basis of all the property transferred now the adjusted basis of property transfer hasn't changed right in this example i'm just saying the debt the amount of debt that we're giving the corporation has changed so instead of instead of having 900,000 of debt we would have 40,000 right we would have 40,000 in this hypothetical scenario so we have 40,000 of debt and there's 110,000 of uh, just a basis of all properties transferred so there would be no gain there would be no gain at all because the debt of 40,000 does not see, exceed the $110,000 of the adjusted basis of all the properties we're transferring so in that case if the debt was forty thousand dollars in this example we would not recognize any gain unless now there's one more example so let's say let's say that so even though this forty thousand does not exceed the adjusted basis of, of all the properties transferred let's just say that this 40,000 that you, you were thinking of incorporating this firm seven flags and you didn't have any debt let's say your debt was zero and you said oh well I know about this rule where if I go out and borrow money and have debt and then I could just transfer the debt to the corporation and it would be the corporation's problem and I'm not going to recognize any taxable gain as long as it doesn't exceed the adjusted basis of properties transferred let's say you know that rule and you say you know what I'm gonna go out and borrow $40,000 and then I will keep that cash and then I will just transfer this debt I will just give this debt to this corporation right so you kind of get like a little free lunch there so you say you're gonna do that and so what the IRS does they have an actual so they have a rule for this and so they say that basically the debt that you're transferring to the corporation it, it must be a bona fide business purpose so it can't be that you say you know what i'm gonna go and create this corporation and oh by the way i don't have any debt but let me go get some and as long as it doesn't exceed the basis of the properties being transferred i won't recognize any gain you can't it, so if the irs does not respect the transaction and thinks hey you went out and borrowed this money one week before you started the corporation and then you kept it and it, it doesn't have a bona fide business purpose in that case then you can also be forced to recognize gain but unless there's this section 357c situation where the ex the liabilities being transferred actually exceed the basis of the properties being transferred or unless there's there's you know some kind of boat issue with whether there's a bona fide business purpose in other cases the liabilities that are being transferred to the corporation are not going to be considered boot and they're not going to generate a recognized gain